How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I found a lot of pictures of you in Vogue, for example, right? Yeah. So how, how do you collaborate with them? My, my wife is German. Who has more shoes? I do. <laughs> <laughs> If this fashion thing takes off, maybe I'll retire a little bit earlier. Do you have a special diet? You know, I, I have drank, you know, some real good Russian vodka. Do you know any Russian words? Uh, chufli. Yeah. Chufli. Chufli. Yeah. I know three words. I know vodka and Sufi and Yupka. You've got a very good personality and stuff, and your interview questions are good. So you should have you should be fairly successful. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy to see you. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So um, you know nothing about me, I think. Um, no, no, you probably know a lot more about me than I know about you. So <laughs> I know something about you. I really liked you. I really liked your Instagram, your outfits, everything. It's like, Good. well, thank you. Yeah, we will talk about it. So uh, a few words about me. I am a teacher of the English language. I live in Moscow in Russia. I have many students everywhere, even in the USA. So I think okay. English and um, I have a hobby like to have interviews with different people and I like communicating with a lot of people. I, I it inspires me, you know. Okay. Okay, so I have many many questions to you. Um, so first of all, tell me tell us please about your work. What do you do? I'm I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I've been uh, I've been working in robotic packaging now for about the last 30 years. Uh, so uh, my job basically entails, you know, just taking the customer information and learn and taking, taking what their requirements are and applying it to our technology using robots, you know, to put, you know, put things in boxes, you know, typical packaging projects. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you live in Germany, right? Yes. Yes. But uh, why did you decide to move from the USA to Germany? My, my wife is German. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. All right. Um, so you live together, just two of you, or you have a big family? No, no. I mean, well, we have a big, kind of like a big patchwork family. She has three kids and I had three kids, but they're all uh -huh. old and, and mm -hmm. moved out now. So uh, I think the, her youngest is 28 or 29. So, and my old, my youngest is, the, is like 33. Mm -hmm. and, and so, and my oldest is like 42. So. Oh, really? Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's I'm an, I'm an old man. I'm a, I'm a grandfather. So. But you know, your eyes are young. This is like, and you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I found you here in in Russian Instagram in some public. I don't remember the name of it, but um, and then I found a lot of pictures of you in Vogue, for example, right? Yeah. So how how do you collaborate with them? Well, in fact, I, I actually uh, I actually had a uh, uh, an interview this morning. Uh, with uh, the Russian Russian Harper's Bazaar uh, issue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and he had told me that I'd been in the, that there was articles of me in the Cosmo, the, the Russian Cosmopolitan magazine. Yes. And also in the, uh, uh, the other, uh, it wasn't Vogue, it was uh, Cosmopolitan all the way in GQ. The, the Russian version of GQ. Uh, so, and I, and I, I knew nothing about those, those, those issues. So, you know, that they must have been where, uh, you know, someone selling the story sold it to them, you know, that, that I did an interview for, for another thing. And they said, hey, I got this, I did this art, I did this interview with Mark, can I sell you the story or something? And I, I know nothing about it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, so you know, when I was doing the interview, he said, "Yeah, we, you know, I read your your thing in in Cosmopolitan," and I go, "Really? I didn't know I was in Cosmopolitan." So, uh, but most of my collaborations with the magazines are uh, basically a, a stylist or a photographer uh, mm -hmm. wants to shoot me, and you know, wants to do a photo shoot, and then they try to sell it to the magazines and stuff. So, mm -hmm. or or the or, or the magazine, like I did. Uh, I did a shoot for a CR fashion book. And basically the, 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 uh, the woman that owns CR fashion said, I want to shoot him and hired a couple of stylists and photographers and said, Hey, make it happen. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, it depends, depends on the, depends on the magazine. What is success for you? You know, I, I think just, you know, being comfortable, you know, being able to have a, you know, a roof over my head and, you know, food on the table and um and then you know not uh you know ha having a good group of friends and have, having having you know a family um you know i mean i basically have everything that i you know that i can want you know of course i think everybody would like to have more money and stuff like that um yeah yeah but, you know but you know it's 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 different you know a little bit uh different because i've really never been one for uh, too many material type things other than, you know, I do, I do have an older Porsche and stuff that I'm restoring, I but I, mm -hmm. I think it's more for a hobby than, than say, oh, you know, this is my collection or my, you know, my something. I, I think it's just more of a hobby uh, type mm -hmm. thing. And it's really not really, you know, to, to go show off or something like that, because I don't think I'll ever be able to drive it, you know, anytime soon, you know, because it's, it's still in restoration project progress uh -huh. uh, but you know success is is kind of changed a little bit in the last well in the last six months since since you know my my accounts gone viral and stuff uh, you know i think now i'd like to have a little bit of success maybe in the fashion industry um, i feel like i've been successful in my robotic uh, packaging career uh, so i i think now i've kind of got a new challenge uh, you know, to try to be successful in in doing, uh, you know, trying trying to do something and learn this new fashion industry, which is, to me, very amazing and and yeah. uh, it's very eye opening that the things that you know really go on behind fashion and stuff. You you can have you can have a lot of money, and still not really be fulfilled, you know, in in your life and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's it's okay to have money, but until you actually feel like you're you've been successful and you, you know, you feel good about what you've done, accomplished in your life and stuff. Uh, just, you know, money, money doesn't, money doesn't really buy you happiness. You told me about that. If you have food at, uh, on the table, you are happy. Like everything is okay. And do you have a special diet? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I try to eat, I try to eat fairly healthy, uh, but you know, um, I, you know, I, I like, I like a little bit of chocolate every now and then, uh, you know, I, I do drink beer, um, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I eat a lot, I do eat, you know, my, my wife, you know, fixes me some salads and stuff, so, you know, usually late at, you know, in the evenings, it's more salads, and I'll eat a, you know, I'll eat a big breakfast and, and eat, you know, a fairly heavy lunch and stuff, but then try not to eat so much you know, during the, during the evenings and stuff. So it's usually, it's usually salads or something in the evenings, mm -hmm. you know, unless we have a special occasion, we go out to a restaurant, you know, before the COVID uh, pandemic, you know, uh -huh. so occasionally, occasionally we treat ourselves to go, you know, going out and eating sushi or, or, or you, know, you know, a big steak or something. So, but that didn't happen too often. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So are you trying to cut down on anything at the moment? like no no things, not really like uh-huh no i mean you know i i i do consume you know some cap you know probably too much caffeine um uh, i'm a big coca-cola uh zero uh -huh. fan so i don't drink the you know i don't have the sugar so i'm drinking the zero but it's, it's still the caffeine in it yeah and probably i probably drink too much of it um you know, my, my used to probably, I used to think I drank too much, too many beers. I'd probably drink one or two beers a night. Uh, and, 
you know, I've, I've now switched to alcohol free beer uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just because I and I did that probably a year, year and a half ago. And so now now I drink probably one or two alcohol free beers and and don't feel quite as guilty as I I probably did before. So, yeah, right. Have you ever tried Russian vodka? I'm not a big uh, fan of, of drinking hard liquor, you know, uh, you know, I lived in, I lived in Texas and probably tequila is probably about the only thing that I would, I did and I didn't enjoy that either. So, you know, I, you know, I tried, I tried drinking whiskey. I tried drinking scotch. I tried drinking rum. Mm -hmm. uh, I've tried tequila. I've tried vodka. I've tried gin and it's just never, I'm, I'm just a beer drinker. Okay. Okay. That's like, that's fine. That's fine, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I have, I, you know, I, I have drank, you know, some real good Russian vodka, but I couldn't tell the difference between whether if it was good or bad to mm -hmm. me, to me, it was just vodka, but someone said, Oh, this is, this is, you know, this is the good stuff. And I go, okay. It tastes like vodka to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't I don't know that much about it to to tell if it's really good or if it's really bad. So yeah. to me, to me, it's all bad. Have you ever been to Moscow or to Russia? No, no, I've never I've never been. I mean, you know, it is, it's you know, it's something on my to do list, especially now that I've been living in, in. I mean, it's a little easier to get to Russia now that I'm in Europe than it was when I was in the USA. Uh, uh, you know, it's still it's still not really easy to do, uh, but you know now now that I'm on this side of the world, you know I I want to go to, you know a lot of the the eastern type eastern European countries and stuff because I, I find I find some of that area, some of those areas are or have you know have a lot of uh, you know natural beauty and stuff and and you know just very interesting uh, the history and stuff so. Yeah, I want to I want to do some sightseeing and stuff, um, but basically right now until I probably retire, I don't think I'm really going to have the time to do it. So maybe uh, like we also have some fashion weeks and so on. Yeah, I mean I mean I'm sure with with this fashion thing, I'll be probably traveling, uh, you know, a little bit more than than mm -hmm. I than I do for my for my job that I have right now. Uh, so, you know, if, 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 if this fashion thing takes off, maybe I retire a little bit earlier, uh, from my other job. Uh, I'm sure they don't want to hear that right now, but, uh, <laughs> you know, if, if the fashion thing takes off and, you know, I can make a little bit of money out of it, you know, pay the enough to pay the bills and stuff. I don't mm -hmm. think I'll ever get rich being a fashion model, but I, I think though, you know, doing that, I think that'll take me to places like Moscow and to, you know, trips to Paris and trips to New York and Los Angeles and stuff, you know, you know, some of the big fashion capitals, maybe even like Hong Kong, you know, yeah, for, right, you know, right. so, so I, I think, I think I could be doing a little bit more international type travel with this fashion thing. Uh, depends on where the fashion shows are and where the, where the magazines are based at or where mm -hmm. the brands are based at, you know, I've got, uh, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but there's a shoe company in Russia, since since Sinta, Sin, uh, they've sent me a couple of pairs of shoes, Sinta, S I N T E Z A or something like that. Hold on, let me. Can we say look. it again? Mm -hmm. Let me look for. Let me look for them here. I got them on my. Yeah, S I N T E Z I A. Sint Sintesia, right? Yeah, I think they've. I got two, two of their two, two pairs of their shoes. Did so you? Have actually, yeah, that they've sent me to, to you know, including the photos and stuff. So I think one pair of boots and and one pair of, uh, you know, some some heels, you know, a little strappy pair of pumps or something. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and you know, I, I think the response has been pretty good for them. I mean, they they want me to try more shoes and stuff. So. You know, right now I'm just getting so many pairs of shoes being sent to me. <laughs> that's that's great. That's great. It's a great uh, yeah until you have to find a place to put them all. <laughs> yes, yeah, but yeah. as far as I um, as far as I saw, 
like as far as I understand, you have like two storehouse, right? Or very large. Actually, actually, we have we have a we have basically three stories. We have we have the lower level, which is kind of like our we keep it as like our our basement type thing. We, it's, it's our laundry room. Uh -huh. uh, we've got a, we've got a sauna down here. Um, and, uh, and, and of course we got the, the garages and stuff. And then the house is kind of built above this room and the, the two garages, the house is above that. And then we have a loft type thing. And the loft is pretty much my, my home office. Uh, it's also our guest bedroom. Uh, yeah. but you know, with, with the COVID stuff, we haven't had any guests anything so, uh, right. so and, okay. it's, and it's also it's also the place where i i keep it's my closet basically so i keep all my shoes and all my clothes up there because the wife has uh, our closet basically full with her clothes so okay right so we, we we used to we used to keep before my clothes and and skirts and shoes start taking up so much space you know, we, we'd have the stuff that I wore, the stuff that she wore in our closet. And then, uh, then, and then we just kind of switch out between the seasons. And now basically she's taken the whole closet and I've moved all my stuff up into the loft. Mm -hmm. Who has more shoes? I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's, that's an easy question. I also have more skirts. I actually have more clothes than she does. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So uh, I would like to show my shoes. Maybe you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh those are not. Yeah. I, like them. Uh, I love red. I love red. So. So this is yeah. Iron Vertic. I, I'm pronouncing. Okay. Right. Yeah, those those are what 120 centimeter. Um. Do you measure in inches or? I think so. 120. I don't know. They're they're pretty tall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They and look nice. I, I like I like red, so. And the other is like they're, open. Those are those are not, yeah. Also high. Yeah, 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 those those are those are pretty tall. Those are pretty tall. So this is Carlo Pasolini. Yes. See, those are something those are something like I'd wear during during the summer. I wouldn't wear those during the winter. Oh, of course. Do you snow, do you have snow there? We we get a little bit of snow. I mean, we if you look at some of my Instagram pictures, there's me with you know me wearing my boots and stuff in the snow and stuff. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we we get enough snow, but but I I usually don't wear sandals and stuff until until it's summer. Yeah, sure, sure. And um, what motivates you? What inspires you? Uh, I think I think just you know, just being able to do things correctly and doing them right, and and uh, you know, uh, perfecting what what you're doing. You know, I've always been a believer: if you're going to do something, you know, do it, do it, be a master at doing it. Uh, you know. Sometimes I don't follow that uh, that philosophy. Like when I was in school, I hated school. Uh, you know, but you know, once once I once I got out of school and stuff, you know, my my career, you know, I, I wanted I wanted to go into robotic packaging, and and I studied everything that could become to become one of the better robotic packaging engineers. Uh, so you know. And it's what I tell my football players too. I said, if you if you want to play football, you know, don't don't come out here and go through it halfway. You know, come out here to be the best that you can be, and and be the master of being being who you are and stuff. So so that, that keeps me motivated. So and that's probably one reason why I I try try to look as good as I can. You know, wearing a skirt and high heels is that I don't want to be you know considered sloppy or unkept or or anything, you know, I, I want to look as good, as good as I can, you know, considering I'm a 61 year old man. Uh, so, so, you know, I got, I got to at least make the clothes make me look good. Yeah, you look great. And, you know, um, your legs are flawless. <laughs> really? Flawless. 
flawless. flawless. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, I've, 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 you know, I, I played a lot of sport. You know, I think some of it's genetics, but, you know, when I was young and stuff, and, you know, even, even up until uh, I say currently, you know, I've, al I've always been involved in some kind of athletic sports or something. So, or, or, you know, working out at the gym or something. So, so I've, I've probably spent a lifetime, you know, doing some kind of exercise and stuff. And I, I used to race bicycles also, and that, that probably helped a lot also. Mm -hmm. And how do you take care of them? I mean, right now, do you use any kind of creams? Yeah, I mean, I, I got I to gotta keep a lot of moisturizers on my leg because I, I think I think the older you get, the drier your skin becomes. Uh -huh. uh, so so I, I basically try to keep a lot of moisturizer and I, I, I do. I am careful about what, you know, soaps and stuff I, you know, I shower with and stuff like yeah. that. Um, and, you know, I, I, I use a net blade or I don't use a razor. So, uh, you know, I think that that kind of helps a little bit. So you're not really getting a razor burn or rash or something like that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it, 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 it's, it's, it's a full time, you know, it's just like a, in the morning routine and in the evening routine mm -hmm. uh, with the moisturizers and stuff. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, one more question. Um, what would you say to your younger self? If you look back like 20 or 30 years back, what would you say to yourself? I would say just have, have more confidence um, in what you're doing and really don't worry what other people think of you. Uh, don't, in other words, don't, don't be so concerned with what complete strangers are thinking about you. In other words, you should really only focus on what your family and friends think, you know, what you're doing and stuff. And don't 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 focus on, you know, satisfying everybody. Uh, you, you, you know, either people like you or they don't. And if, if they don't like you, don't worry about it, because basically you don't know them anyway. So uh, if, if I'd have known that, I, pro I probably may have started wearing high heels and skirts a lot earlier. Uh, yeah. to do that so yeah this is the problem here in Russia too like we worry a lot but I myself no I don't worry about no. what others think about me I just I, I want to do something and I do it yeah and that's basically that's basically what I'm doing so I, I want to do this and I do it I don't care what people think mm -hmm. you know? as I said you just you just got to worry about what your family you know concern about your family and your friends think and if then, you know, fam family's always going to be understanding. And if they're really good friends, they'll be understanding as well. Yeah, definitely. And um, what do you think the best outfit for ladies? Uh, should they wear high heels, skirts, or is it like? Is it, 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 dep it depends on, it depends on, uh, you know, your surroundings. Uh, you know, if, if you're in the office environment, like, you know, my, my style is basically based around the office. Um, and, and, and I have very strong legs and I have a very good sense of balance, which I think makes, makes it easier for me to wear high heels. But a lot of people, a lot of women, you know, really struggle wearing high heels. Yeah. And, and yet they continue to do it because they want to look good. Uh, so I would just say if, if, if you can, you can. If you can't, then don't worry don't worry about it yeah. you know where 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 was comfortable to me high heels are comfortable you know so or you know i wouldn't say they're comfortable i would just say they're i don't have any problems walking in them and i don't get sore legs or my ankles don't hurt my knees don't hurt my back doesn't hurt you know yeah. of course of course the balls of your feet hurt because you've always put you've always got the pressure on your feet instead of on the entire foot you just have it really focused on one part of your foot and yeah that that's i won't say it's painful but it you know it's it it's some discomfort uh but you know i i know some people say oh it's just really painful uh for me it's just a, it's just a little bit of discomfort uh, mm -hmm. do you wear them every day i it depends on the day uh if if i know i'm going to be in you know meetings where i don't have to do a lot of walking 
or you know, I, I could sit at my desk most of the day. I'll probably wear like like a heel like what you wear, you know, a little higher heel because I know I don't have to do a lot of walking. But if I know I'm going to be, you know, up and around and have to go here, you know, go here and, and go to this guy's office and and walk into our manufacturing facility and stuff like that, then I, then I'll wear a lower heel. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I would say I'm, I'm always wearing the heel. The height of the heel varies depending on what my what I think my schedule is going to be. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Um, so your favorite shoes, your favorite pair of shoes. Well, my favorite my favorite pair of shoes right now is is my uh, the green boots I just got about a month ago, and the reason why they're my favorite because they have my name on them. So and they're very comfortable. They they look very good and they're very comfortable. I mean, I I'd, I'd probably wear them every day if if uh, if people wouldn't get tired of me wearing the same shoes every day. So uh, that's just how comfortable they are, and 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 it's a very it's you know it's not a it's not a low hills, but it's not a very, it's not the tallest hill I have. So it's kind of like, yeah. I'd say it's, it's kind of above the average hill that I wear. It's a little higher than my average, but it's not the highest I wear, mm -hmm. but being a boot and everything, it's, it's very comfortable. Great. Great. Do you know any Russian words? Nope. <laughs> Vodka? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of them. The other, okay, shoes will be tufli. Sorry? Tufli. Sufli. T. Tufli. Sufli. Uh, the first letter is t, like t, like t. Ch. Ch. Uh, yeah. Tufli. Tufli. Yeah. Tufli. Okay. And uh, a skirt will be yupka. Yuka. Yupka. B. Yupka. Yupka. Yukba. No, Yupka. Yuka. Yubka. Oh, Yubka. Yes. Ah, okay. Yubka. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so you can say Tufli e Yubka. It means shoes and skirt. And skirt. Right? We don't okay. have articles. Tufli and Uka. Uh -huh. Yubka. 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 Yeah. Uka. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. so you know two more words, right? All right, now, now I know three words. I know vodka and Sufi and Fuk, Fuk, Yupka. Fuk, 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 Fuk. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's great. I have a hard time with German, so I, the, to me, languages are, are very hard. So, you know, uh -huh. I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas and we, you know, we took Spanish and stuff. And I, I even struggled with Spanish you know, even when I was young and, you know, now, now moving to Germany, you know, trying to learn a foreign language, you know, as an older person, who's, whose learning habits have, you know, kind of gotten a little, not, not yeah. quite as sharp as before. Uh, so, so I've really struggled with the languages and stuff in my hearings, you know, I've been around machines and stuff. My, you know, most of my life and career and my hearing is not so good. So I don't hear a lot of things, you know, perfectly clear. And, and that, that probably hinders a little bit of my learning and understanding, so. Mm -hmm. And so do you, uh, you speak um, English, right, with your wife? Yeah, yeah. Well, if she gets angry at me, she, she, she'll, she'll change into German, so. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Doesn't happen, doesn't happen too often. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and the last thing, uh, you, as I said, I have a lot of students and some of them, like almost all of them, have a language barrier when they start speaking with native speakers, like with other people. They are shy. They have this language barrier. What would you suggest to them? What, uh, like, not to worry about the accents or stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, just, just uh, you know, when, when when I you know when I try to speak German, you know, stuff. Uh, I, I try not to worry about if I'm if I'm incorrect or not, um, because I, I think I think anyone that if if, if they see you making the effort, uh, mm -hmm. th then they'll be they'll be happy to help you, and and they'll understand if you you know mispronounce, you know. Now now young kids, you know young 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 people if they if they make mistakes in front of others, then they may get laughed at just because that's the way kids are. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but you know the adults and stuff like that you know if you make a mistake in front of adults they're typically typically not going to laugh at you because you said something funny or wrong or, <laughs> or something they may laugh at you if you say something funny okay but you know like okay all right thank you so much thank you a lot mark you are awesome you are so interesting right oh thank you thank you yeah I, and i love your shoes thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> thanks yeah i will try to um to have them to like to wear them in the summer but right now it's it's snowy so we have yeah to yeah very very cold Good. you'll you'll have to send me a picture of you wearing like some boots or something with some hills i'm sure right. you got some boots with some hills in i will i will because <laughs> you've seen pictures of me so it's only fair i get to see a picture or two of you so all right I okay promise. and then then, then, I, then i then i'll know what you look like if i ever come to moscow so yeah okay yeah you should you should come here you should see this beautiful city i love it so that's that'd be the problem because you see if you know typically when i travel somewhere like like for work or something you know i i fly in to the airport you know i take a cab or someone picks me up i go to the hotel I'm at the hotel, then I go to the customer's facility or their office or something. I'm in their office for meetings all day long. Go back to the hotel, then go back to the airport. You know, I say, well, uh, okay, you, I see. You, you were you were there, but you, I, you know, I said I was there, but I never saw the city or I never saw anything. You know, so uh, you know, so you know, if I went to Moscow and something, I, you know, I'd have to take at least three or four extra days. Yeah, you know, definitely. Just, just to just to see the city because I don't think you can see everything in one day. Moscow, like I understand, is a very uh, big city. Yeah, it's and huge. There's, and, and there's so many things to see, so much history yeah, and so right. many. So I will show you, you everything. Couldn't, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see it in two or three days. <laughs> that three days, three four days are like good. Yeah. Yeah, I would. But we'd have to we have to wait till it's summer because I don't like cold weather. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah probably may is okay june yeah. july august and september okay yeah so it had to be during the summer it had to be during the summer and uh and then maybe you know maybe we can you know walk around and we get some photos and stuff with me with all the russian yeah. buildings behind me and stuff that would be maybe maybe we do something like that yeah yeah yeah. i have a professional camera i can make pictures and i can okay pick you up at the airport i have a car so i will show you everything that you would like or um so we will decide yeah, that that'd be great that'd be great yeah yeah okay, okay. And then then i just may have you know as soon as soon as the uh, travel restrictions and this covid thing you know kind of slows down and stuff and and they open up to travel a little bit more i, I just might have to make a trip to moscow when it gets warm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The weather is important. <laughs> yeah. If if I if I'm going to travel somewhere, I'm going to go where it's warm. So right now, I'd probably just be heading to an island somewhere. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you so much. I enjoyed. You're welcome. You're welcome. The time yeah. with you. Thank you for being with me. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good luck on your YouTube. Good luck on your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I, I think you I think you you've you've got a very good personality and stuff and your interview questions are good. So you should have you should be fairly successful on it. So. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will try. I will do my best. <laughs> OK. All right. Right. Have a good okay. night. Right. Have yeah. a good night. Yeah. yeah, you too. All right. Bye bye. Bye.